Atlantic Broadband Cable, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network. This evening, from Bill Power Stadium, the home of the Uniontown Raiders, we bring you WPIL AAA action. It'll be the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Uniontown Red Raiders. Hi again, everyone, along with Jerry Dupay. I'm John Kazarek, and welcome aboard to another night of youth athletics right here on your South Union Township Sports Network. Before we come back with a look at the lineups, I do again want to remind you that South Union Township Sports Network coverage being brought to you is a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, Tom Frankhauser, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Comcast Cable, and Armstrong Cable Companies, and of course our good friends down at CUTV talking about J.R. Wheeler, Gary Smith, and their staff. I'm John Kazarek with Jerry Dupay. We step aside for a minute. We'll be right back with a look at the Raiders as South Union Township Sports Network coverage continues. First National Bank knows that a home that suits you needs a mortgage that suits you too. So stop by your local First National Bank branch and ask about Mortgage by Morning, a unique application that determines your home buying power in less than 24 hours. If you qualify, you'll have your mortgage conditionally pre-qualified by the next morning and they offer a variety of mortgages to satisfy your needs. First National Bank of Pennsylvania, home of the personal banker, is proud to sponsor local high school sports. Fayette Bank and Trust Company was one of the first sponsors of local sports and now First National Bank is happy to keep that tradition alive. Stop by your local First National Bank branch and experience why our relationships are built on trust. That's First National Bank, an equal housing lender. Chessler's Furniture of Uniontown is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth athletics. In business since 1950 and owned and operated since 1974 by Theodore and Rich Lacey, Chessler's has long served the immediate area, offering a wide variety of living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, mattresses, and other occasions. Honored by the National Home Furnishings Association for excellence, we have also been honored by Virginia House for outstanding sales the past five years. We offer brand names such as Lazy Boy, Schweiger, Hickory Hill, Serta, Lane, and we take great pride in our service to our many valued customers. We are open Monday and Friday from 9 to 9, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 9 to 6, and we are located at 601 Pittsburgh Street, two miles north of Uniontown on Route 51, next to the Fayette Plaza. For more information, please call us at 438-0661 or stop in and see Ted, Scott, Rich, Paul, or Sue. Let's take a quick look now at the Laura Highland Senior High School boys starting team. They're coached by Steve Weiss. Jerry uh, Rogers is the assistant coach. And they come in to tonight's ball game in conference play two and five, five and seven overall. And we'll go numerically uh, from uh, the bottom up in it, uh, starting up front as uh, an outside midfielder will be number three, one of the captains, Jared Pickett. Inside mid number five, Alex Russell. Good to see him back as this next guy, Shane Tressler, number seven. And Shane will be a fullback. These two guys missed the last game against Mount Lebanon due to illness. Up front, Sean Lemontowski. Looks like, oh, he's going to be a stopper. He'll be on the defensive side. Your fullback, number 11, sophomore Jonathan Tobel. The sweeper is going to be Greg Turco, number 12. And then uh, number 13, Brett Workman, our leading scorer with 10 goals on the year, will be up front as the striker. He likewise is a uh, co-captain. In goal tonight, goalkeeper, as he's been all season long, will be Jordan uh, Merchbaker. And Jordan is just a sophomore. Glenn Nakota, sophomore outside mid, number 23. The inside mid, number 29, Ben Kuzer. And uh, the striker up front also, one of the captains. He's number 32, David Hope. We'll be back to take a look at the Raiders right after this. 
to again remind you for all of your real estate needs, contact Diane Zinn at Coldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty. She has been a full time realtor for 10 years and a lifelong resident of Fayette County. If you're looking for that first time home buy, your new dream home or just have some questions regarding pricing your existing home and you want to get uh, want to get it ready for sale contact diane at coldwell banker law ridge realty at 437-7100 diane's in will take the necessary time to help you find that perfect home and the right marketing tools it takes to sell your home look for professionalism ethics and integrity when you look for that real estate agent to market your existing home or when you take that important step in buying your home call diane's in at coldwell banker law ridge realty to make that right move today at 437-7100. She called last week, Margaret from National City. She'd noticed that I could earn more interest by transferring my savings account into a National City indexed investment account. Now, she didn't have to make that call. But I guess it's people like Margaret who make National City so different. Instead of seeing me like this, they see me for who I really am. I'm Pam Davis, and my bank is National City. Third time that we have seen the Uniontown Red Raiders, and they're coached by Matt Gerard. A couple of good young coaches here involved in tonight's game. His assistants are Clay Kreisick and Seth Volpe, and they'll go this way. It'll be number four, midfielder Travis Constable, a junior. Outside mid, uh, Luke Monahan, he's number five, a junior. Fullback defensively, Christopher Boucher, he is a freshman, he's number eight. The sweeper, number 14, Jimmy Bendishaw, a junior. Outside mid, John Phelan, a sophomore, number 15. 16, Josh Lewis, a midfielder, and he's a sophomore. Center mid, Brandon Johnson, 17. Your striker is going to be Alex Lambrino, a senior, he's number 19. Christopher Rawl, number 22, Chris uh, fullback, and he's a senior. Garrett Free, a junior, will be in goal tonight. And Aaron Sabatool, number three, a sophomore, is your striker. We'll be back with the opening kickoff on this misty and uh, dreary Thursday night with the heavy rain uh, falling most of the afternoon. But the great thing here tonight, we're on the turf, and quite possibly the best turf in uh, the WPIL. So the rain uh, will not hamper play whatsoever here tonight. I'm John Kazarek with Jerry Dupay, and we'll be back with the uh, introduction of starting lineups and the opening kickoff. LH and Uniontown, need I say more, right here on your South Union Township Sports Network. Ritelli Restaurant, Uniontown's newest Italian restaurant, is located at 90 Pittsburgh Street in downtown Uniontown in the train station next to T's Tanning directly across from the Uniontown CVS. Ritelli Restaurant specializes in delicious Italian cuisine with a full range of appetizers, salads, soups, gourmet pizza and desserts. Also available are seafood and poultry entrees and a full range of adult beverages are available. We offer our world famous lunch special featuring soup or salad, a half a sub and a slice of pizza all for only $5.99, dine in only. We can cater your special event or we can host your party, shower or special occasion on site here in our beautiful family oriented restaurant. Our mature professional and dedicated staff is eager to please you here at Ritelli Restaurant. We offer adequate on site parking and we are fully handicap accessible. Ritelli Restaurant is open Sunday from noon to 8 o'clock p.m., Monday through Thursday, 11.30 a.m. to 9 o'clock p.m., and Friday and Saturday, 11.30 a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. We are a mid-price restaurant with five-star service. Try us once, you'll be back. That's Ritelli Restaurant. Rediscover all the wonderful things you remember as a child. They were the great historians that shaped our country, the interesting lands and cultures around the globe, the fascinating world of science, or the exciting adventures of Treasure Island and Oliver Twist. Recapture the memories when you help your child read and study at home. After all, who knows, you may learn something too. Junior, number seven, Shane Tressel. 
senior number nine, Sean Lewandowski. Sophomore number 11, Jonathan Tobin. Junior number 12, Greg Turner. Senior number 13, Brett Miller. Sophomore number 19, Jordan Richard. Sophomore number 23, Glenn Lakota. Freshman number 29, Ben Cushman. Senior number 32, Dan Okay, that takes care of the introduction of the starting lineups here, and we'll be back with the opening kickoff. It's Laurel Islands in Uniontown High School Soccer right here on your South Union Township Sports Network. Rediscover all the wonderful things you remember as a child. There were the great historians that shaped our country, the interesting lands and cultures around the globe, the fascinating world of science, or the exciting adventures of Treasure Island and Oliver Twist. Recapture the memories when you help your child read and study at home. After all, who knows? You may learn something too. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of tonight's area youth athletic event. They have been serving the area with quality work and integrity for over 40 years and they would like to again thank their past customers and look forward to serving new customers as well. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair works with all insurance companies and provides assistance with car rental arrangements that coordinate with the auto repair work. As a member of the DuPont Assurance of Quality program, our refinishes are guaranteed and all repairs have a lifetime warranty as long as the customer owns the vehicle. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair clearly recognizes and understands the current and ever-changing atmosphere that exists in today's collision repair and insurance industries. Life is very busy with everyday problems and concerns, and we will work with you to alleviate your worries regarding repair of your auto. So please contact Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair located on Atlas Road here in Hopwood. That's Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair offering complete collision service for both domestic and foreign vehicles for over 40 years. For more information, please call us at 724-437-2351.
First National Bank knows that a home that suits you needs a mortgage that suits you too. So stop by your local First National Bank branch and ask about Mortgage by Morning, a unique application that determines your home buying power in less than 24 hours. If you qualify, you'll have your mortgage conditionally pre-qualified by the next morning and they offer a variety of mortgages to satisfy your needs. First National Bank of Pennsylvania, home of the personal banker, is proud to sponsor local high school sports. Fayette Bank and Trust Company was one of the first sponsors of local sports, and now First National Bank is happy to keep that tradition alive. Stop by your local First National Bank branch and experience why our relationships are built on trust. That's First National Bank, an equal housing lender. ready to roll and before we get started I want to say thanks to athletic director John Fortuna for all of his help down here and also to Ryan Davis the uh, official score, uh, scoreboard operator and timekeeper here tonight for all of his help and we are underway LH will control it and the back kick will come to Tobel. Tobel dumps it on the right side and over here is Pickens up here midfield at the 40 sends it back now to Tobel. Tobel works to the middle fires it up on a flank and this one just gets past Laurel Highlands and almost Brett Workman to run it down. Goes to the far corner. Right there is Lakota. Lakota stops in this miss, drops it back, and up with it now comes LH attacking. Can put it to the middle. Workman sends it down deep corner. As they slide to the corner, Lakota is going to get, uh, I think, a sideline throw, and it'll not be a corner kick. Looking for Kuzier, and he'll find him. Here's Kuzier now. Right side, drops it back now to Lakota. Lakota and Kuzier play a little catch with it. Try to work it to the middle of Lakota, and this one should be a corner kick. No, it's off of L8, so it'll go the other way, and the Raiders will put it in play. Their first uh, touch of the ball as we've played one minute in. And what do we get? Uh, okay, the official did change. He pointed Uniontown's way, and then uh, it'll be a corner kick, as I thought it would be. And laying it down now is Glenn Lakota. Lakota with the corner, and he sends his, oh boy, this is a good one, right out in front, headed out of there, and a good play by the Raiders, here they come, flying up the right side, and Uniontown will send it up, where Lemontowski will intercept, put it back over here to Pickens, Pickens is going to be checked nicely by Monahan. Monahan with the intercept, sends it right back down to Costable, to the middle of the field, they come with it, Uniontown's first uh, possession, they'll send it over here on the wing, and this one is booted back, by Monahan, LH trying to get to it, and they will sideline it in as it goes outside the boundaries and tossing it in will be LH's uh, co-captain Pickens. Pickens sends it. He puts it into the middle of the field. Nice uh, cross right there. Comes in the middle and cleared away. Lemontowski trying to get to it. Union Town is back, and a nice play there by Lambrino. Lambrino sends it up on the left wing, and LH is back with Tressler. This one will go out. Union Town will toss it in and it will be Aaron Sabatula, the sophomore, to put it in play. Down the left wing, and trying to check with it is Tressler. It comes down the right sideline. It's into the middle of the field, and right there is uh, the big guy, number 19, Lambrino. Lambrino with a little back kick there. There's a strong one, and from a distance, this one will go out of play. I think I might have been the sophomore who fired it. So LH will set it down and put it for a goal kick as we have played to the 37-22 mark. No score for LH laying it down. Will be Jordan Merchbaker. And he should be able to get this one somewhere out around the 40-yard line. Here's the run up. And I'll tell you, just about to the 35. Taken back now by Kuzer on a run. Kuzer sends it on a right wing. It's intercepted there by Uniontown. Uniontown settling it back. Right with it now comes Phelan. Feeling up the middle. Sends it over here on the left side and trying to set up now Josh Lewis and Lewis battling. It's kept in play by the Raiders. They drop it back and fire it straight up ahead. Going back forward is LH and Turco, but coming out to get it and streaking in on it that time appeared to be 
Aaron Sabatola. This one will head up towards midfield, intercepted there. Phelan tries to get it from town. Trussler keeps it on his foot. Trussler comes right back after it. Send it up now to the middle. Here comes LH attacking with it right now. That should be Russell. And Russell spins it over here to the right side. And Lakota will send it up flying to Hope. Hope running it towards the corner. Hope looking to cross with it. Comes into the middle. A drop and a shot right out in front. Once, twice, Pickens. And good play there. And I think it was Workman had the good opportunity. But good defense by Uniontown. Checking hard now is Monahan. This will come to the middle. LH turns, fires. Here comes uh, Russell again. A little sliding inside. Ball is loose. Intercepted by Uniontown. Coming back with it now is Sabatula. Sabatula running uh, ahead of the play. Yes, keeping it in play is Phelan. Sends it now to Sabatula. Here's Sabatula coming, looking for a cross now. And his shot, oh, slippery shot there. Good shot. Tobel off the save by uh, Merchbaker. Sends it up on the left wing. And out of bounds, beyond the boundary, off the foot of number three for Laurel Highlands. Talking about uh, Jared Pickens. Laying it down for the Raiders is the sophomore, Christopher Boucher. Want to say hi to Jock, his dad. Jock, uh, very instrumental with the soccer program down at Rec Center. And we've got a contact foul against LH. This will be a direct. And Uniontown, off the direct, will send up Jimmy Bendishaw. Bendishaw, just a junior. Uniontown has a lot of underclassmen to run up. And he bombed it, but uh, way wide right of the goal. And we have now played five minutes in. No score. LH has had one good scoring opportunity. This is the third time we've had these two teams. Once at LH, once down here in the soccer shootout. Early in uh, the month of September. This will head up uh, towards Hoke, intercepted by Uniontown. Right there is Ben Deshaw. Move it up ahead. Here comes LH clearing. Nice play by Tarko. Tarko sends it ahead, and here comes LH on the fly. Can Hope get there? It's onside. No question about that, but going back after it is feeling. Jonathan fires, and this will be LH with a sideline in. That rain's starting to come down again, Jerry. Out here on the deck uh, with Jerry at this uh, beautiful facility. With it now comes LH. I think this is Lemontowski up to Russell. It's headed out there. Loose just past Workman. Getting to it is Hoke. Hoke turns, spins, fires, and well, H again putting some pressure on. Try and set who's deep. There's Tobel. There's Turco. There's Tressler. And I think Lemontowski in the middle as the uh, stopper. And there he is, and laying it down for Uniontown is number 14, Jimmy Bendishaw. Bendishaw with the run-up. Intercepted and trapped by L.H. Lakota, but he lost it. Uh, no, Uniontown gets it back. Thought it was out of play, taken away by Lakota as he battles with Brandon Johnson, number 17. Johnston to fire it in. No score. Up ahead on the far wing, that's Sabatula. Sabatula lost it, out of play, and we've played now to the 33-minute mark. It'll come back now for Uniontown, and they'll sideline it in. Going to the far side, trying to track it down is Lewis, and LH will get it with uh, Tressler to toss it in. No score yet at the 32-30 mark. So it'll come down. He'll fire it in. Here comes Hope. Hope trying to get to it. And he does. Gets uh, beyond Bendishaw. It's put into the middle. And trying to get there is Pickens. Pickens with a little move. And what do we got? We got a foul. And a whistle. And Uniontown will get it. As we approach the 32 20 mark. No score. And Uniontown will. Lay it down and fire it up. Here's Pickens. Nice job there. Sends it over here on the left wing. And this will go out to the Raiders. And the inside toss in will come there from Christopher Boucher. Chris fires it ahead. Taken back by Costable. Back to Chris. Banged ahead by Phelan. And this one will go out of play. And no, it did not go. Everyone slowed down for a second. That ball had some spin on it. Comes back towards uh, the middle of the field. Good boot here by Togel. Up towards uh, Russell. Workman is there, but it's cleared by Boucher. Boucher 
and it's headed by Turco. Out of danger to Cooser, intercepted by the Raiders, but Cooser's got it. Cooser fires it on the wing. If we can get some speed, coming after it is Lakota. He runs up with it. Oh, good defensive play by Uniontown. I'm trying to think that might have been uh, Phelan or 14. Okay, Ben Deshaw. And our first sub of the night for LH coming in will be Aaron McClusack. And he will replace, I think, coming out of there, Shane Tressler. Shane, a little winded. He's uh, been down with uh, an illness here. As Union Town will toss it in as we get to the 30 minute mark. And still this one will go out. We hit 30. Uh, take a quick break here. As we have not had a score, no timeouts. This one will go to the corner. Back towards Lemontowski. Lemontowski sends it flying up towards midfield. And with it is Tobel. Tobel punches it right side and kept in play, taken nicely there by Union Towns. Travis Constable, here comes LH on the run. It's intercepted here, they got a break, no, but a good defensive effort right there by Jimmy Bendishaw. Sends it flying up the right side as it goes out of bounds at the 30-15 mark. We're gonna take time out. There's a slight break in the action. We'll be back with more. South Union Township Sports Network coverage continues. As we come back after the brief timeout, it'll be Hope to toss it in. Fires it up, and here's Workman trying to get to it, and off the foot of Phelan and beyond the boundary. So LH will get the play. With it is Workman, stops at the right side, little drop, put it towards the middle, and this one will go out of bounds. 29 minutes, 37 seconds to go. No score. And Cooser intercepts. Cooser coming up the right side. Cooser, nice pass. And this one will go to the goalie. And a nice play there. Keeper will run it up. Fire it up. If you're watching this on Saturday night, I want to remind you, Sunday night we'll have LH and uh, Bell Vernon. Big ball game uh, for the Mustangs as they go for three in a row. Del Vernon, one and two on here. Here's a little chip down the left side. Coming out to get to it is the keeper. Nice job there by Garrett Free, the junior. Union Town playing real well right now, keeping uh, LH away from that goal. They're putting good pressure on defensively, denying LH anything up front. There's Lemontowski, and as we mentioned him, we do want to thank uh, Dr. Michael Lemontowski and Surgical Associates for helping sponsor uh, L8 soccer all season long. And good luck to uh, the Mustangs, the coaching staff, all the players from Dr. Michael Lemontowski and his staff. This one will head to the sideline. It'll be a goal kick for the Uniontown Red Raiders. And the run up. Banged up towards midfield and out of bounds off of Lakota. Union Town will toss it in. Right there with it is Lambrino. Fires it up ahead and out of Costable. Costable and a collision. And it will be LH ball as Turco comes back to get to it. I think this is Hoke in the back line. Nice little advance pass up ahead. Tobel, Pickens, oh nice pass to Pickens just beyond Russell, and here's Tobel, saw Mike uh, earlier today, I was out at Adrian's doing some shopping, Adrian's of course, Adrian's Market here in Hopwood, uh, one of our sponsors, and had the good opportunity to talk a bit with Mike about uh, football and soccer, and a good pass here. Left side kept in play. Good work. Here comes Workman. And he does a Workman-like job on that one. Sends it to Cooser. Cooser spreads it out. Right wing. Working with it is Lakota. Lakota, a little dance, a little move. And he is dogged nicely by Uniontown. Right there, that's Josh Lewis. LH trying to cross into the middle. Cleared. It comes back. Still loose. Uniontown. Working with it hard right there is Travis Costable, and it's clear. 
LH will get a sideline in as we go to the 26 and a half minute mark. Still no score. LH had one good opportunity. That's been it. Down the middle, here they come. Oh, right out in front, it's onside. Workman, what a save! What a save by Free. Workman was home free. And Free came out and slammed the door on him. Beautiful save right there. Oh, I tell you, Workman was onside. Pretty pass, and he fired it point blank, and it was a bullet. Here we come again. And for LH, uh, Jonathan Tobel has moved up. That defense is, I'll tell you, they're in their attack position right now. They've got everybody except two up uh, inside the 20 yard line. So they're putting pressure on with eight of them up close. And Tobel, sidelines it in. He fires this one up, and he'll do it right again. Stay right there. Looking for Pickens in the corner. Here's the run up, and he just drops it for Russell. Russell with the centering kick. Good clear by Uniontown. Good work there as clearing it out was number 14, Jimmy Bendishaw. Back it comes. Going back after it now is Christopher Raw. Chris, a uh, senior, he's back there defensively. He's played very well. Sideline in. Trying to get to it was Johnston, number 17. This will head back now. Taken by Hoke. Sends it to the right side and just beyond the foot of Pickens. And we'll go out of play as we go now to the 25 minute mark. So we played 15 in, no score. And just uh, a great play a couple of minutes ago by Garrett Free. Comes Cougar, comes Hope. Uh, this one uh, headed. Cross and stay in play. It would no, will not. It's the now the interesting thing did it go out before it hit the pylon? It did, so it's a throw in for LH. They get it immediately here to Workman. Sends it back. Strong shot and a good save once and diving out to shut Workman down. Couldn't see who took the shot. Might have been Kuzer, I'm not sure. It was from the middle of the field. Here's Lakota. Working hard, kept in play by Hope. Uniontown controlling it now, and here come the Raiders. But this one uh, heads out of play, and at the 20-yard line, tossing it in. Looking for the middle, and they'll fire it right there towards Bendishaw. Bendishaw walks in, and it's taken away by LH. Coming up the middle now with it, here comes LH. Good clear, speed put on, this is onside, and coming hard with it now is Doug Pearl, excuse me, Workman, he smothered again, Workman, and Free came out, and what a play by Free. Oh. This one is tossed in, and shot well, I'll tell you, two great saves both times on Workman. Workman uh, really buried two of them. And a great play on both of them by Free. Garrett Free. Garrett has earned his keep here tonight. He's a junior. He's made two outstanding saves. There's the run up. And the big kick by Ben Deshaun. Here comes LH, getting it up ahead now, McClusat down the middle, little stop, little pop coming down the middle this time again, it's Workman, he's up in all, here's Kuzer, keeps it in play, Kuzer once, twice with the header, Uniontown back kick there, and this one will come all the way back to Tobel, Tobel puts it on the left wing, get it to Pickens, and it goes out. At the 22.06 mark. And inbound play will come. Tobel will lay it down. No score. Tobel fires it up. Loose. Back kick. Uniontown there to clear it. And LH. Good play there by Brandon Johnston. 
Johnston lost it out as we approach the 21 and a half minute mark. This one will come in. To go all the way back. Here comes LH with it. Russell trying to set it up. This one deflects out and the keeper comes out. Loose and another play by free. And as we hit the 2130 uh, mark, big kick heading to the far side. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more as the ball gets out of play. South Union Township Sports Network coverage continues. We are scoreless. Chesler's Furniture of Uniontown is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth athletics. In business since 1950 and owned and operated since 1974 by Theodore and Rich Lacey, Chesler's has long served the immediate area, offering a wide variety of living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, mattresses, and other occasions. Honored by the National Home Furnishings Association for excellence, we have also been honored by Virginia House for outstanding sales the past five years. We offer brand names such as Lazy Boy, Schweiger, Hickory Hill, Serta, Lane, and we take great pride in our service to our many valued customers. We are open Monday and Friday from 9 to 9, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 9 to 6, and we are located at 601 Pittsburgh Street, two miles north of Uniontown on Route 51, next to the Fayette Plaza. For more information, please call us at 438-0661 or stop in and see Ted, Scott, Rich, Paul, or Sue. Okay, a couple of substitutions. Uh, looking to see number two, Drew Poling is checked in. Drew a junior. He will replace, looks like Monaghan on the sideline. With it now Lakota, intercepted by the Raiders. With it is Costable, still no score. Byron at the far side. I'll tell you, Uniontown has really improved a lot. They're playing extremely well. And Jimmy Bendishaw will lay it down. And the shop puts it on the goal line in the goal box and kick this one away. Intercepted, taken right back. Right there with it is Lambrino. This will come to the middle. Russell will cross up in front. And back after it again is Bendishaw, the sweeper. He's done an outstanding job back there. Just halfway home in the first half of action. No score. LH has had three good opportunities, but uh, three times that goalie has come out. Mr. Free has done a great job. This one towards the middle. LH trying to get there. Russell will. Russell comes up the right wing, looking to cross. Sends it out of work with a little back pass. And this one is going to head out of play. And I think it's LH ball. And Lakota will toss it in. Looks like Tressler getting ready to come in for LH. Tressler checks in. Seeing who we got coming out. It might be McClusak, 34. So there's the in. And almost the out. Way by the Raiders. Good work. They send it up here to Johnston. Brandon and number 17. Out last touch by LH. will come to the middle with it. Right there for Uniontown is number four, Travis Custable. Lakota dogging Johnston. Johnston wins the battle, goes out of bounds, and he'll toss it in for the Raiders. Right to the 30 yard overhead toss. LH trying to get there. Russell does. And Russell sends it ahead now. Here comes Hope down the middle. It's onside. Can you get there? And there comes the goal. You go. Oh, he lost it momentarily. But he covered nicely. He's having a heck of a game. LH is keeping the ball in this end. And it's been played here 99% of the time. This one will head back. Kobo stops it. Here come the Raiders, just as I say it, on the attack. Coming down the right sideline now. Right there with it. That's uh, 
Sabatola goes out of play, and the Raiders will toss it in. And there to toss it in is Drew Poling. Poling looking for some help. Fires it to the middle. Did he go on the line? And evidently he did. So LH will get it at the 17.44 mark. Sideline comes in. Oh, it's onside. Can you get there? Here comes Hoke in a foot race. And the goalie comes out. I'll tell you, that's timing. He's got to guess just right. And another nice play by Free. Because if he misjudges that, it's a sure goal. Coming is Russell. Go to Hoke. As we go to the 17-17 mark. Still no score. comes the run up. This one headed far left side. Pickens, left wing, Cooser. Cooser stopping, looking, crossing into the middle. And here's uh, sit, uh, inside with it. Now Hope trying to get off the feed from Lakota. LH put all kind of pressure on. But so far, nothing to show for it. Scoreless game. It's a shame we had this kind of weather because this is usually a pretty good draw down here at the stadium. Back it comes now to Turco. Turco, send it over here to Tressler. Tressler looking, looking. Nice move. Comes up the middle. Say hi to Randy. Watching the game. And down the lane. Here we come with Hope. Oh, just couldn't catch up. Here's a shot. Save, loose, and oh, just wide. Good cover by Uniontown. Hope trying to get there, but number 14, Jimmy Bentishaw made a great play to cut him off. Couldn't tell who had the first shot from way out. But I'll tell you, the Raider goalie has been superb today. LH putting a lot of pressure on. Uniontown trying to clear. Trying to get it up into the attack zone. They've only been up there about three times and trying to advance with it come the Raiders. Still loose. LH will intercept it. Hope. Hope's got a man. He's got a cross with him. Hope trying to get there. Look in the fire. It's loose up in front and another nice play. LH will get a corner. We're putting the pressure on. No goals. 15.05 to go. Talking with Ryan in here. He's done a great job with the clock and the PA here. Does a nice job with the uh, swimming. I think 16 years he was telling me. Out in front now is Pickens. Clear. Loose. Russell from long range. Why? Still no score. 14.43 to go. Substitution for the Raiders. Laying it down, that's Chris Boucher, number eight. You can't see the number, the young man that just checked in. It's out here in midfield. So we come back. Stop taking it out there. Still loose. Coming in is Russell. To the middle. No. And the guy that just checked back in is Luke Monahan. And here's an intercept. Hoosier with the shot, smothered, banning on it. Was Russell, gets it over here now to Pickens. Pickens looking, nice little move, tries to uh, get by. It's to the middle, here's Workman, shot, score! Workman likes the goal light and one nothing at the 13 53 mark. Again, remind you for all of your real estate needs, contact Diane Zinn at Coldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty. She has been a full time realtor for 10 years and a lifelong resident of Fayette County. If you're looking for that first time home buy, 
your new dream home or just have some questions regarding pricing your existing home and you want to get uh, want to get it ready for sale contact diane at coldwell banker law ridge realty at 437-7100 diane's in will take the necessary time to help you find that perfect home and the right marketing tools it takes to sell your home look for professionalism ethics and integrity when you look for that real estate agent to market your existing home or when you take that important step in buying your home call diane's in at coldwell banker law ridge realty to make that right move today at 437-7100 Lemontowski, Dyson will move down the middle. Lemontowski over here to Pickens. Pickens with a little spin. Pickens comes to the left. Now he's going to try and cross and center with it. Working hard. He's still coming, looking to put it in the middle. And back it comes. Good stop here by Kuzer. Kuzer down the middle. Good defense by the Raiders as they clear it. Here comes Uniontown. Get it over here now on the nice outlet pass. It comes over to number 19, Lambrino. Inbound feed will come. It goes just beyond. Number three, Aaron Sabatola. Here comes the chip on side. Hope trying to get there. And he is pulled down. This will be a direct. And LH will get a direct from about the 15-yard line. So this is a good situation. Russell laying it down, and he gives way. Trying to see who that is as he tines some... Might be Lakota. Now Russell coming. Russell has that strong foot. He's kicked a three big. That's Lakota or Russell. Let's see what they do with it. The run up is going to be Lakota. And they're going to move it back to about the 20. So this might be a little bit too far for trying to put it on goal. It's chipped in front. And a good play by Free. And I think we'll get a corner. 11.46 to go. Deep corner, Trussler lays it down. There's the corner. It's out in front, cleared by the Raiders. Getting there's Kuzer. Nice play, Monahan. Sends it up on the far right wing to Aaron Sabatola. Sabatola and LH takes it away to Hope. Cleared. Good job there by Jimmy Bendishaw. Raiders take it back, taken away again by LH. Pass on side. What do we got? Nope, I was wrong. It's offside. With the 11.05 mark. Rain has pretty much stopped, although it's a misty night. Umbrellas are still up. We got some faithful and hardy fans here tonight. And LH going to control it. Turco, nice pass up ahead. Here we go on a break. Here comes Pickens. Look out. Pickens, shoot. And Eric Free came out again. That is four times that he has come out and made the play. And we're at the 1027 mark, and there's going to be LH controlling it. Here's Jonathan. Tressler. Tressler fires. Another great save. And it goes out, and we are at the 10 minute mark, and we're going to take time out. And we'll have a break. We'll be right back. 10 minutes to go in this ball game. In the first half, LH leads it one to nothing. She called last week. Margaret from National City. She'd noticed that I could earn more interest by transferring my savings account into a National City indexed investment account. Now, she didn't have to make that call.
but I guess it's people like Margaret who make National City so different. Instead of seeing me like this, they see me for who I really am. I'm Pam Davis, and my bank is National City. I tell you, Jerry, he's putting on a clinic out there. That last one was beautiful. I mean, he came out through the air. He has had to do that about five times today. This easily could be four nothing. He did not play goal the first time around or the second time around, but I tell you, Garrett Free has done a nice job. Ryan, I just want to check with you. You have Garrett Free as the keeper, right? On your lineup. He's done a great job here tonight. No uh, numbers worn by the goal, so you always want to work with the opposing uh, coaches and PA people. Make sure you're right. Here's the shot by Pickens, and it's smothered. Raiders take it back. With it now comes Costable. Nine minutes to go. Poke it up the middle, loose. Intercepted, Brandon Johnston comes out with it. Sends it on the left wing. And it's chipped to the middle of the field and poked there by Tobel. Lost it. Here we come, Lemontowski on the wing. Sends it up ahead, Workman, and here we go. Oh, was he offside? Oh, just so close. 8.24 to go. One nothing ball game. If you're watching this Saturday night, which would be the 30th, I believe, we uh, remind you that Sunday night we'll have Laurel Highlands and Bell Vernon High School football homecoming night, and a chance for LH to get to three and zero and stay in first place in the uh, conference in that Keystone. Left side, Russell, crossing, middle, run back. Here comes Uniontown on a little bit of a break. Trying to get there was Johnston. This will come back. Tobel's back there along with Turco. They send it to Tressler. Up ahead now, LH. Boy, they're fighting for their very lives here tonight, leading it just one to nothing. Lakota lost it out. Defensively, you got Lemontowski as your stopper. Turco as your sweeper, and for LH checking in right now comes uh, Chase Frankhauser. You've got uh, Tobel as a fullback and Trussler. So that's your defensive alignment. Lakota's at midfield with Russell, now with Frankhauser. And here comes LH now moving it in. Workman spinning, Workman corner, there's a pass in, the shot just over the top as Hoke was set up nicely, I think, by Lakota. Try to redirect in a one-timer as we go to the 642 mark. Raiders will send it up towards midfield. I think Chris Quinn has checked in. Number 21 is out there. Big guy. Also with it now Monahan. But LH will toss it in. Get it on the fly. Here we come down the middle, and Russell, what a pretty pass, redirect score, Russell, great pass, and I think it's Workman who got the goal, Phil Turn will double check, 13 it is, Workman, 2-0 LH on a great feed from Russell. Ritelli Restaurant, Uniontown's newest Italian restaurant, is located at 90 Pittsburgh Street in downtown Uniontown in the train station next to T's Tanning directly across from the Uniontown CVS. Ritelli Restaurant specializes in delicious Italian cuisine with a full range of appetizers, salads, soups, gourmet pizza and desserts. Also available are seafood and poultry entrees and a full range of adult beverages are available. We offer our world famous lunch special featuring soup or salad, a half a sub and a slice of pizza, all for only $5.99, dine-in only. We can cater your special event. 
or we can host your party, shower, or special occasion on site here in our beautiful family-oriented restaurant. Our mature, professional, and dedicated staff is eager to please you here at Ritelli Restaurant. We offer adequate on-site parking and we are fully handicap accessible. Ritelli Restaurant is open Sunday from noon to 8 o'clock p.m., Monday through Thursday, 11.30 a.m. to 9 o'clock p.m., and Friday and Saturday, 11.30 a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. We are a mid-price restaurant with five-star service. Try us once, you'll be back. That's Ritelli Restaurant. Twelve goals on the year now for Workman. That's a ton. And LH up by the count of two to nine. What a pass by Russell that set him up. Here we come again. Frank Hauser trying to get there. Chase, uh, and out comes a goalie and almost lost it. Frank Hauser playing the outside mid. Here's Russell trying to get there. Russell sends it up ahead. And a nice clear by Uniontown. I think that's Kelly. Yeah, they've made some substitutions, but oh, was he offside, Jerry? He sure was. Down to 534 and counting. Here comes the run up. Back with it. Loose. Kelly. Oh, back pass. Good one. But hustling to get to it is Tobel. Lost it. Kelly got it back, but Tobel takes it away. Jonathan sends it up where it is taken by Johnston. And nice work here by Chase. Here's Frank Hauser. Pretty pass to the middle. And it's onside, guys. Here we go with a break. Here's coming. Here's Hope walking in. Got to shoot it. He does. He hit the post. Rebound. Back score. Hope gets his own rebound and makes it three to nothing. These young people are the key to our future. The law firm of Davis & Davis is proud to support the youth of the communities where we live and work. Davis & Davis is committed to Fayette County's future leaders, the children, who offer all of us a world of promise. Three nothing at the 440 mark, LH. I tell you, they've got some nice breakaways, and that time the shot, and it hit the post. Uh, I think Frank Hauser's one to set it in motion as he made the pass to the middle. I couldn't see it clear. Sent it up uh, in a good play by Hoke as he got in ahead by himself and he took the shot, hit the post. Here's another one. It's an onside to Workman. And keeper comes out. This one heads back and Lewandowski back there. Takes it away from Johnston. Retaken by the Raiders. That's Lewis. And coming with it is Tressler. Sends it up to Lakota. Lakota stops, fires it. Here we go. Oh, offside again. He could have just laid back a couple of seconds. Might have been able to get there. 3.42 to go. LH. Leading it by the count of three to nothing. Goes up ahead. Right there with it is the Lambrino. LH intercepts and they're on the run again. Here comes Hope. He's got a man up in front of him. Hope chips it ahead. Workman uh, gets it now. Russell, Russell to Workman. What a save again. Nice pass by Russell. Workman stopped again. That's, he's got two, but he's been stopped three times. Chase Frankhauser will corner kick it. No, nope. he'll give way. It'll be Trussler. Trussler. 
Tressler with the run up. It's out in front. No. 2.36 and counting. LH up three to nothing. A couple of goals uh, by Workman and Hoke gets the third one. Here we go, down the middle. Russell, loose, Tobel, punch it ahead, and Frankhauser closest to it as it goes out of play. This will come towards the middle, Russell. Middle, Kuzer. Swings it to the right. Drops it over here now for Lakota. Lakota, a little drop down the middle of the shot. And I think it was Tressler that pulled the trigger. As we hit the 130 mark. 3 nothing LH. Tell you, a lonely guy to our right, all by himself out there for most of the night, is the Laurel Island's keeper, Jordan Merchbaker. Watching everything on the other side of uh, the 50. And LH trying to head it back. Tobel will go back for it. And drops it out. One minute to go. Lambrino tosses it in. Cleared, intercepted. Russell. Coming up the middle, here's a pass, and here comes Workman again. Oh, was he offside? He was. 37, 36, 35 seconds to go, and it's an offside call. Tobel. And that's going to be a direct for the Raiders with 20 seconds to go. This will be their best chance of the night. Laying it down is going to be number 19, Lambrino. This will be their last chance at it. He fires. It's a good one. And it's loose and just beyond the reach of Monahan, and that'll do it. 3 nothing as we've come to the end of the first half. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown, and South Union Township Sports Network coverage continues after this break. LH leads it uh, three to nothing as we come back at halftime. Just to recap the scoring for LH, uh, Workman has a couple of goals. He got the first one at the 13:53 mark, and then later at the six-minute mark on a fine feed from Russell to make it two to nothing. Hoke with the goal at the 4:43 mark to make it three to nothing. And I'll tell you, the play of Garrett Free in goal has been uh, what has kept this game just at three because he has made at least four or five. Really spectacular saves. We'll be back with the second half kickoff right after this. We're ready to roll with our second half of action. LH up three to nothing, and Uniontown, I believe, will control it to start uh, the second half. And right at midfield, Aaron Sabatola lays it back. Uniontown will move right to left or left to right now. And he'll send this back towards Tobel. A nice chat with his dad out here, uh, Big Mike. During the halftime break, here comes LH attacking now. And the cross into the middle, and no. Hit the side of the net. And it'll be a goal kick for Garrett Free. Why would they get mad at you? It's not and laying it down is Jimmy Bendishaw. Bendishaw with the run up. Bendishaw with the blast. Up towards midfield. Taken back by the Raiders. LH intercepts. Lemontowski sends it on a wing. Oh, Lakota was streaking in, but good defensive play by Uniontown. 
will take it away. They send it up towards uh, Sabatola. LH intercepts with Tressler. Tressler right here in front of us. Pokes it straight right side. Lakota trying to get there. Here's a little feed on side. Hope coming. He'll shoot and score. Number 32 for Laurel Highlands. Captain David Hope gets the goal. There's a good look at him. Make it four to nothing. Four nothing ball game. With it comes Lambrino. Right side and across there to Johnston. Johnston looking now to take it into the middle. Good play by Tobel to try and poke it away, but Johnston works hard. And Tobel right there with him. This one's to the side. Sabatula and the save. Nice play there, Sabatula with the shot. And a good play by Merchbaker. Here comes LH. Nice play there by Workman as he comes up the right side on a nice feed from Lakota. Lakota did a nice job to keep that one in play as we're at the 38.09 mark. Down the right sideline, Russell. Russell spins, Russell turns. Russell to Lakota, Lakota looks across. He puts it right out in front. Good defense there by the Raiders though. And trying to see the young man who made the play. He will not turn towards us. And this will be a throw in, no corner. Lakota, Russell, and we'll get a corner out of this one. Good sliding play. Might have been Travis Costable. So LH will get the corner from Lakota. Three minutes in. Lakota will lay it down and try and hook this one in there. The run up. And this was a little too long. Hustling to get back after it is Workman. Workman will turn. It's loose. Cleared. Russell. Here comes Uniontown. There's Pickens. Good work. I think that was Johnston, and it was. LH will fire it in. Here comes Russell. Russell sends it up ahead. Looking for Hoke in the middle. Here's the shot. And hit the side, I believe. You see that net move, and you think it's in the goal. And laying it down will be Jimmy Bendishaw. 36.07. I want to remind you, over the next couple of weeks, uh, we're going to start our Midget League football coverage, also girls Midget League basketball. Down the middle, Lakota. Lakota straight to the middle. Lakota turns, Lakota spins, no. Back it comes now. And this one will go out of play as we go to the 35-42 mark. For the Raiders. Laying it down, I think this is Ben Deshaw. And he bombs it. Headed by LH right back to Hope. Hope with a pretty pass over to Workman. Workman going in and free with the save. Good free play by Garrett. Right side, left side. This one will come out. Shot up ahead, trying to come after it now. This is Lakota. Lakota in a foot race and taking it away nicely is Phelan. And LH will sideline it in. I tell you, a little tougher to see on this right side. We're out on the deck, but we're having to look back through the uh, window here. And with it now, Tressler to the middle of the field. And the shot coming is going to be wide and long. I want to thank Dr. Michael Lemontowski and 
is Surgical Associates for helping sponsor Laurel Highlands Boys Soccer all season long. Good luck to LH and head coach Stephen Weiss, his staff, and all of the players from Dr. Michael Lemontowski and Associates. And also thank the boosters. Coming in Workman. Oh, nice move, Workman. Tough angle. Tried to pull the trigger and did, but didn't get a whole lot on it. This should be LH ball, and it is. 33.50 to go. This one comes back and out. Up the left side, intercepted there, Sabatola. Sabatola's going to run back after it. Good play by the freshman. Sends it on the fly, but there to intercept is Turco. Turco, pretty lead pass up ahead, but Uniontown will come right down the middle with it, and Jimmy Bendishaw fires it, and it'll go out of play. Beyond the boundary, and Tobel will chase it all the way down. LH up four to nothing. Two goals by Hope, two by Workman. Josh Lewis and Lakota having a little friendly chat right here in front of us at the 40 yard line as it comes in. LH, there's Hoke. To the middle of the field. Coming back after, here come the Raiders. And trying to split the defense was feeling taken away by LH. Lakota sends it up the middle. Here we go, onside, here comes Workman. He pulls a trigger and it's just wide. Good defense has been to Shaw pressure. 32 minutes and 10 seconds to go. Bendishaw will lay it down. Evidently, we're still getting the mist, not the heavy rain. And I'll tell you, this is when, a night like this, you really appreciate uh, the turf down here at Uniontown. And here's Russell crossing. It's into the middle and loose there. LH trying to get to it, and they can't. Poked away up towards Lemontowski, but the Raiders now send it to Johnston in the middle. Johnston looks. Here come the Raiders up ahead now. Come Sabatula. He's all alone. Can he get there? He can't. But this turf is just, I, I couldn't believe we were talking, Jerry and I, off camera and off mic. And it's five years now. It's hard to believe, man. I would assume the turf is good for probably 10 years or maybe more. But I'll tell you, they've gotten their use out of this, and it is just such a beautiful playing surface down here. Maximizes uh, the availability of this to all of the uh, students and all of the sports. Coming up the right sideline. With it, Lakota fires it up ahead, and this one will head up toward the middle and cleared right there by Travis Constable. Taken away, Lemontowski coming. Lemontowski with the pass. This one is kicked out. We're right at the 30-30 mark and we're gonna take a timeout. Timeout on the field, LH4, the Uniontown Red Raiders, zero. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of tonight's area youth athletic event. They have been serving the area with quality work and integrity for over 40 years, and they would like to again thank their past customers and look forward to serving new customers as well. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair works with all insurance companies and provides assistance with car rental arrangements that coordinate with the auto repair work. As a member of the DuPont Assurance of Quality program, our refinishes are guaranteed and all repairs have a lifetime warranty as long as the customer owns the vehicle. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair clearly recognizes and understands the current and ever-changing atmosphere that exists in today's collision repair and insurance industries. Life is very busy with everyday problems and concerns, and we will work with you to alleviate your worries regarding repair of your auto. So please contact Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair 
located on Atlas Road here in Hopwood. That's Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, offering complete collision service for both domestic and foreign vehicles for over 40 years. For more information, please call us at 724-437-2351. As we come back, Hope trying to get there, and there's a collision, the goalie coming out. And a nice play again by Free. Sends this one up, right side toward Lakota. Taken back by Tressler. Tressler fires it up ahead, Uniontown will control it. Here's Lewis now. Lewis with a little back pass right there to Christopher Rawl. Rawl, Chris going back after it. Russell intercepts, Russell going to the right, trying to cross, he does, it's out in front, oh, what a one-timer. And let's see if that was Workman, if he'll turn. Yeah. Is that 13? Yeah. And I'll tell you, pretty, pretty pass. And the one-timer by Workman, it just got too much air under it. Russell with the perfect cross. 29, 24 to go. Bendishaw will lay it down. John Kazarek, Jerry Dupay. In the midst of our 17th year of bringing you the best in local sports coverage. There's a pass up ahead. Intercepted by the Raiders. Just out beyond Pickens. You got Turco Tobel, Tressler Lemontowski. Frank Hauser getting ready to come in. Up at midfield, I see number 34. That's Aaron McClusack into the lineup. Couldn't see who left. Frank Hauser will check in. And 28.30 to go. Here's the throw in. He'll go to the corner with it. LH trying to clear it. Get it towards McClusack. Hope walking in. Back it comes, taken by LH down the middle. The shot by Trussler is going to be wide at the 28-13 mark. Rolls onto the track. It'll be a goal kick for Uniontown. I think that's Bendishaw is going to lay it down. He's number 14, the junior sweeper, and he is the last line of defense. LH up four, and this one will head towards Russell. Gets it to the middle to Workman. Nice cross over to Frankhauser. He walks in. Frankhauser trying to get to it. Bumped off of it by the Raiders. And a nice play there. Is that Zach Franks, 13? 19, okay. That's Alexander Lambrino. Move it up ahead now. Here they come. With it is Sabatola. Sends it ahead. Sabatola on the foot race. And he goes to the corner looking to cross. Now Sabatola chased by Trussler. This one goes into the side of the net. And it'll be a goal kick for Ella, Ella, oh, excuse me, Jordan Merchbaker. Almost said Alex Merchbaker. That's his brother. This is Burt Merchbaker, very active with the Boosters. I want to thank the Boosters for all of their help in helping to sponsor LH Soccer right here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Here's the run up. This one is stopped nicely by Sabatola. Good job there by Travis Constable. This one is loose. Constable trying to get to it. Over here now to Savatola. Trying also to get to it now. Into the lineup, Drew Poling, number two. Poling trying to get there. This one's headed down the far sideline. And McClusack has it bumped out by Phelan. Nice play by John. LH quickly fires it in. Here's Hoke. Oak looking, leading it now. L.H. Here's McClusack by the count of four to nothing with 26 minutes to go. Hope send it out here to Lakota. Lakota, look out, and he got it from long range, just above free. Ball hooked perfectly into the far left corner. L.H. now leads it by the count of five to nothing. First National Bank knows that a home that suits you needs a mortgage that suits you too. 
So stop by your local First National Bank branch and ask about Mortgage by Morning, a unique application that determines your home buying power in less than 24 hours. If you qualify, you'll have your mortgage conditionally pre-qualified by the next morning and they offer a variety of mortgages to satisfy your needs. First National Bank of Pennsylvania, home of the personal banker, is proud to sponsor local high school sports. Fayette Bank and Trust Company was one of the first sponsors of local sports and now First National Bank is happy to keep that tradition alive. Stop by your local First National Bank branch and experience why our relationships are built on trust. That's First National Bank, an equal housing lender. So the goal by Lakota, and I'll tell you, we had the perfect view of it, and it was hooking, and it had a lot of leg on it, and it just caught the uh, far corner. LH up on top now by the count of five to nothing. And Russell up the middle. Outside feed, Frank Hauser, Chase, looking to cross with it, walks in, fires, score! Chase Frank Hauser from a tough angle gets his first varsity goal and make it now six to nothing. Great shot by Frank Hauser, and there he is. Good job. Chesler's Furniture of Uniontown is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth athletics. In business since 1950 and owned and operated since 1974 by Theodore and Rich Lacey, Chesler's has long served the immediate area, offering a wide variety of living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, mattresses, and other occasionals. Honored by the National Home Furnishings Association for excellence, we have also been honored by Virginia House for outstanding sales the past five years. We offer brand names such as Lazy Boy, Schweiger, Hickory Hill, Serta, Lane, and we take great pride in our service to our many valued customers. We are open Monday and Friday from 9 to 9, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 9 to 6, and we are located at 601 Pittsburgh Street, two miles north of Uniontown on Route 51, next to the Fayette Plaza. For more information, please call us at 438-0661 or stop in and see Ted, Scott, Rich, Paul, or Sue. Six nothing score now. Here's Russell again. Left wing pass. Frank Hauser gonna get it there again. Chase heading down that way. I saw where Alex had a couple of goals last night and the big girls went over at Albert Gallatin and Chase responding here in kind tonight. Workman taken away by the Raiders. Get on your feet. Still loose. Out of bounds. Beyond the boundary, Russell controlled it as we go to the 24 43 mark. Swim comes back towards 
Lemontowski. Lemontowski fires it. Trying to streak in now for LH comes Luke Horton. Horton puts the brakes on. Horton the senior seeing his first action here tonight. A couple of other substitutions getting ready for LH. Looks like Doug Pearl loosening up. Six nothing score LH. Lakota and Frankhauser scoring minutes apart. Here comes a break, but there is Tobel. Good work, good pass. Sends it over here now. Lakota fires it. Trying to get there now is Horton. And Turco fires it up. Here they come. Here comes LH with the burst. Coming down the middle is Russell. Now he's got to fire it. Now he doesn't score. Six, now seven nothing, LH. I'll again remind you for all of your real estate needs, contact Diane Zinn at Coldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty. She has been a full time realtor for 10 years and a lifelong resident of Fayette County. If you're looking for that first time home buy, your new dream home or just have some questions regarding pricing your existing home and you want to get uh, want to get it ready for sale contact diane at coldwell banker law ridge realty at 437-7100 diane's in will take the necessary time to help you find that perfect home and the right marketing tools it takes to sell your home look for professionalism ethics and integrity when you look for that real estate agent to market your existing home or when you take that important step in buying your home, call Diane Zinn at Coldwell Bank or Laurel Ridge Realty to make that right move today at 437-7100. She called last week, Margaret from National City. She'd noticed that I could earn more interest by transferring my savings account into a National City indexed investment account. Now, she didn't have to make that call, but I guess it's people like Margaret who make National City so different. Instead of seeing me like this, they see me for who I really am. I'm Pam Davis, and my bank is National City. Russell with the goal. Unassisted, got in. LH now sending it up the far side to Horton. Had some substitutions for LH. And seven nothing ball game. I'll lay it down and fire it up. Just beyond the reach of Lemontowski. Back towards Frankhauser, back towards Tobel to Frankhauser and out of bounds off of Lambrino, Alexander Lambrino. LH has also sent Doug Pearl out there now. Good to see the goals by uh, Lakota and by Frankhauser. Back with it now. Defensively comes LH and they intercept. Russell looking on the wing. Comes right down the middle. Pretty pass and can he get there? He will not. I think, let's see if that was McClusack that almost popped free, but the goalie came out again. Timed it beautifully. Phil turn, and it was number 34, McClusack. 21.40 to go. Here comes Uniontown on a break, but Tobel will go back with Lambrino. Lambrino will cross. Now Tobel hits the deck, and he walks in. The shot smothered. Nice play by Turco, and Uniontown will get a corner. As they trail it now at the 21-minute mark by the count of seven to nothing. Brett Workman got the first 
two goals. Then LH got two goals from David Hoke. Then Glenn Lakota and Chase Frankhauser back to back with goals. And then Alex Russell got the other one. We'll see Alex in action uh, tomorrow night. Hopefully he'll get a lot of chances to uh, kick extra points, fuel goals, and kick off. He has been a weapon for us this year. No question about that as we get to the 2019 mark. Down the middle. Pretty pass. LH spreading it out. This one will go back and out of play. 20 minutes to go. As it goes out, uh, we're going to take a little bit of a break. Southie New Township Sports Network coverage continues. L87, Uniontown, nothing. Ritelli Restaurant, Uniontown's newest Italian restaurant, is located at 90 Pittsburgh Street in downtown Uniontown in the train station next to T's Tanning directly across from the Uniontown CVS. Ritelli Restaurant specializes in delicious Italian cuisine with a full range of appetizers, salads, soups, gourmet pizza and desserts. Also available are seafood and poultry entrees and a full range of adult beverages are available. We offer our world famous lunch special featuring soup or salad a half a sub and a slice of pizza, all for only $5.99, dine-in only. We can cater your special event, or we can host your party, shower, or special occasion on site here in our beautiful family-oriented restaurant. Our mature, professional, and dedicated staff is eager to please you here at Ritelli Restaurant. We offer adequate on-site parking, and we are fully handicap accessible. Ritelli Restaurant is open Sunday from noon to 8 o'clock p.m., Monday through Thursday, 11.30 a.m. to 9 o'clock p.m., and Friday and Saturday, 11.30 a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. We are a mid-price restaurant with five-star service. Try us once, you'll be back. That's Ritelli Restaurant. As we come back at the 20-minute mark, LH leading at 7 0. Workman. Lamentowski to Tobel. Ahead to Russell. Intercepted Johnston. Johnston down the left wing. With it now comes Poling. Send it ahead to Sabatula. Taking away Lemontowski. Up on the left wing. Russell. Russell to the middle. And here comes LH down the right sideline. They keep it open and poked out. Nice defensive play there by Josh Lewis. 21 and 10 coming in for LH. That'll be Cody Woolery. And number 21, John Riley. Riley a sophomore, Cody a sophomore. 1835 to go. Russell, Hoke, passing it. Workman score. Workman makes it eight to nothing. And we'll keep it here. We'll be right back. Rediscover all the wonderful things you remember as a child. There were the great historians that shaped our country, the interesting lands and cultures around the globe, the fascinating world of science, or the exciting adventures of Treasure Island and Oliver Twist. Recapture the memories when you help your child read and study at home. After all, who knows? You may learn something too.
Ted's Ova Body and Fender Repair is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of tonight's area youth athletic event. They have been serving the area with quality work and integrity for over 40 years and they would like to again thank their past customers and look forward to serving new customers as well. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair works with all insurance companies and provides assistance with car rental arrangements that coordinate with the auto repair work. As a member of the DuPont Assurance of Quality program, our refinishes are guaranteed and all repairs have a lifetime warranty as long as the customer owns the vehicle. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair clearly recognizes and understands the current and ever-changing atmosphere that exists in today's collision repair and insurance industries. Life is very busy with everyday problems and concerns and we will work with you to alleviate your worries regarding repair of your auto. So please contact Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair located on Atlas Road here in Hopwood. That's Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair offering complete collision service for both domestic and foreign vehicles for over 40 years. For more information, please call us at 724-437-2351. Nothing, LH. They've opened it up. There's the poke ahead by Uniontown as they come down the lane. And nice move by Lambrino. Gets it over here on the far side. I think this is Constable. Also in the play was Monahan, but taken away by LH. Lou Horton lost it. Tobel. Lambrino walks in, Tobel pokes it away. Nice pass to the middle that time by Monahan. Intercepted right at midfield and then taken back by Jimmy Bentashaw, who's played a nice game. Bentashaw fires this one ahead and coming out, Archbaker. 17 minutes to go. LH up eight. The scores eight to nothing. No firing down the right sideline. Streaking in after it comes John Riley. And Lewis will beat him to it. And Lewis knocks it beyond the boundary. LH will put it in play with 16 and a half to go. I'll tell you, on uh, the night, almost more suited towards late October, early November. I tell you, Jerry's had some cold ones out here on the deck, I'm sure. Comes the throw in. And it's loose. And trying to take the shot for LH as Kevin Morrison, a freshman, has checked in. This one heads up towards midfield where Doug Pearl tried to get to it. Russell, nice move ahead this time by Brody Kelly. Here comes LH flying down the middle. A little poke up ahead. Go to the left side and for LH. Morrison back now. Oh, got contact and this will be a direct for the Raiders. Here's the direct coming. I'm trying to see the number here. Yeah. It's Lambrino, and he fires. Look out. Oh, right on goal, and a nice catch, and a nice save. Lambrino, really strong with the foot. 14 minutes and 50 seconds to go. This one heads out of bounds. Talking with Laura Island's assistant coach, Bill Beaner, today, and a football coach. And boy, they're working like crazy trying to establish a running attack. And it's just a matter of getting the linemen to fire out and uh, take control of that offensive line. There's no 
no criticism whatsoever about the pass blocking. The pass blocking has just been exceptional. They have given uh, Peg all kind of time to throw, and he is among the leaders in the WPIL. And I would think Rankin would be the leading receiver in number of catches. I'll tell you, maybe we've got some receivers out there between Peg, Yarborough, Lewis, uh, Joden, and of course Rankin. LH year in and year out is one of the better passing attacks in the WPR. There's a poke up ahead, left side, and going back after it for Uniontown is number six, Brody Kelly. As we hit the 1330 mark. Sideline in. With it right there is Greg Turco. Turco's moved up to the offensive end. And I'll get it over here to Hope. Hope trying to come in to cross. Oh, he does. And Tobel was right there waiting. Just could not connect. There's the shot, Turco. And a nice save again as Hope tried the windmill kick, a bicycle kick, if you will. This one comes up and out. Pickums will replace Russell. LH has some big ball games coming up next week as they hope to get to 500 in the section. That's the, their ultimate goal this year. And I tell you, they put him in a, a meat grinder of a section. You've got Bethel Park, you've got Mount Lebanon, and you've got Baldwin. You've got three of the premier teams in the Whippeal. 12 minutes and 12 seconds to go, so 12-12 showing. the lineup. For Laura Hollins will come number two, Luke Horton. And sideline coming in for Uniontown. This one will head over here towards Ben Deshaw. Taken back by Horton. Move it ahead. Here come the Raiders. Lambrino down the middle. And poked away. Good defensive play by Pickens. Get it up towards Turco. LH does. They've got some position changes. Loose and a lot of contact coming down the middle for Uniontown is Drew Poling, and this one will head out of play at the 11 20 mark. Sideline in. Here comes LH flying up the side. Lemontowski now. Hoke towards the middle to Hoke. Here comes Hoke. And this one will cross and go to Uniontown. Eight nothing, your score. Well, let's see. Might be direct there could have been some grabbing on the way in and I think it's going to be Hope laying it down just outside the 15 yard line for the direct Let's see if he chips this one or goes for it all out there's the run up he fires it's loose and a nice save again Garrett Free has been spectacular LH, Turco, spinning, turning, get it up here now to Doug Pearl, chipped ahead, and here's Tobo with the shot, no, 9.48 and counting, LH up the, by the count of eight to nothing. And with it, Uniontown, Brandon Johnston. Lost it out. Substitution for LH. Riley checks back in.
Klusak is back defensively for Laurel. And, well, we got a new keeper. Well, wish I could tell you, looking on here, see, that could be Morrison or Matt Nichols. They're both listed on here as a keeper. Let's see if we can see 36 on the bench or if we can see 22. Oh, 22 is out there playing, so we're assuming now, just by the roster, that that's Matt Nichols in goal. You're talking about a change for LH, right? And we're watching the play away from the ball, trying to get numbers, and here's Hope walking in, firing, no, nice save again. As we go to eight and a half to go. Put it down the middle. Four. Turco. Four. Intercepted Bendishaw. Send it all the way up to midfield. Going back after it now is Brett Workman. Eight minutes. Eight minutes to go. LH on top. Hope. Down the middle. Poked here to Luke Horton. Back on defense, Brett Workman. Blue sackle clear. And battling for hard position there is John Riley. Right through the middle. Tobel trying to get there. Free comes out. So we got the defenders in the attack positions, and we've got the attackers back on uh, defense. There's Kevin Morrison with it. Luke Horton cleared away by Travis Constable with 6.50 to go. towards midfield where Luke Horton goes after it. Down the far sideline. Oh, I can't see, is that Frank Hauser? Couldn't tell if that was number four over there. Chase, I believe, on the left wing. And come into the middle from Pickens. Got a couple of guys loosening up right now. Cody Woolery. Justin Pluto and James Elbert getting ready to come in. Six minutes to go. And LH will sideline it in. And running it up quickly is Cody Woolery. Fires it just beyond the reach of Morrison. There's a throw in. Goes just beyond. Greg Turco. Intercepted here by Pickens. Back to get to it is Brandon Johnston. Fired up ahead. No. Raiders with it now. Here they come on the attack. Pretty pass to the middle. And looking for polling over here as he was streaking in. And I think it was Sabatula who had control of it. And this one heads up and out beyond the boundary off of Lewis. So LH will put it in play. Four fifty to go. This one comes over to the right wing. Cross to the middle. Here's Hope. Look out. The shot is wide. He had it wide open. And good defense getting back. It was Chris Rawl. Four twenty-eight 
20 to go. Here's the kick by the Raiders. Probably Bendishaw to lay it down. 15. 15. And in there right now, John Phelan, 15, made the play. Send it over here. Right sideline, here come the Raiders. Run up here by Lewis. And just beyond, Cody Woolery. And advancing it now is Luke Horton. Horton to the middle. And walking in now with it, Sabatula cleared out. Nice play there, I think it was Pickens. There's the shot. And this one will go out and into the lineup. For LH will come sophomore Gary Reagan. Down to 320 and counting. This one goes out of play, so Gary Reagan has checked in for LH, number 27. Dad, Gary, one of my golfing buddies out at Springdale, and I'm sure he's here tonight. There's the shot, uh, pass. Moving it right. Also, want to say hi to Kathy. See her at the games, and their daughter also plays. They've got one playing uh, on the girls' team. So up the left side, trying to get it ahead now to Morrison. This one will run out at the 2.20 mark. So recapping the scoring, LH got on the board. And we're on a break. Here we come again with Hoke. He shoots. He scores. Number 32, Hoke, with the shot and the score. We'll be right back. Chesler's Furniture of Uniontown is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth athletics. In business since 1950 and owned and operated since 1974 by Theodore and Rich Lacey, Chesler's has long served the immediate area, offering a wide variety of living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, mattresses, and other occasionals. Honored by the National Home Furnishings Association for excellence, we have also been honored by Virginia House for outstanding sales the past five years. We offer brand names such as Lazy Boy, Schweiger, Hickory Hill, Serta, Lane, and we take great pride in our service to our many valued customers. We are open Monday and Friday from 9 to 9, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 9 to 6, and we are located at 601 Pittsburgh Street, two miles north of Uniontown on Route 51, next to the Fayette Plaza. For more information, please call us at 438-0661 or stop in and see Ted, Scott, Rich, Paul, or Sue. As we come back, uh, the goal by Hope makes it nine to nothing. He has the hat trick tonight, as does Workman. So they have combined for six of the goals scored. Here comes LH right now. And walking in, and there's the shot being poked back at the 110 mark, so the Raiders back. So the goals, uh, three of them by Captain Brett Workman. Three of them by one of the co-captains, David Hoke. So that accounts for six of them. Glenn Dakota got a goal. Chase Frankhauser got a goal. And also Alex Russell. Down to 45 seconds and counting. So LH will now improve their record on the season to three and five in section play. 
and six and seven overall. And their goal is hopefully to beat McKeesport and get uh, close to that 500 mark. Here's a shot just wide by Uniontown as we wind it down to 15 seconds. by the count of nine to nothing. We'll be right back. I again remind you, for all of your real estate needs, contact Diane Zinn at Coldwell Banker, Laurel Ridge Realty. She has been a full-time realtor for 10 years and a lifelong resident of Fayette County. If you're looking for that first time home buy, your new dream home, or just have some questions regarding pricing your existing home, and you want to get uh, want to get it ready for sale? Contact Diane at Coldwell Banker Law Ridge Realty at 437-7100. Diane's in will take the necessary time to help you find that perfect home and the right marketing tools it takes to sell your home. Look for professionalism, ethics, and integrity when you look for that real estate agent to market your existing home, or when you take that important step in buying your home. Call Diane's in at Coldwell Banker Law Ridge Realty to make. That right move today at 437-7100. Nine nothing, you're fine. Congratulations, LH. Good effort uh, by Uniontown here tonight, and that's going to wrap it up. I'm John Kazarek with Jerry DuPay reminding you South Union Township Sports Network coverage brought to you again as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Tom Frankhauser, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Comcast Cable, and Armstrong Cable Companies, along with their good friends at CUTV, J.R. Wheeler, Gary Smith, and their staff. For Jerry DuPay, I'm John Kazarek. From Bill Power Stadium, the home of the Newtown Red Raiders, we bid you a very pleasant, pleasant good evening. The final score, it's LH9, Newtown nothing. This has been the South Union Township Sports Network presentation. <laughs>